just do the whole that interview just with quotes. Oh, right. You know, that would make me really happy. It would be difficult. I would start with, hold on to your butts. I'd be like, game over, man, game over. So to start, no spoilers, but can you tease a little bit about what's to come in the second half of the season? Great Scott. Um, yes, I can. I, um, the momentum's definitely carried through from the first half of the season. And uh, the relationships have all been set up, and now they are kind of messed with. And um, they're tested a lot, Jamie and Claire's relationship in particular, but also um, relationships in the castle, the politics between the brothers. and. Uh, and ultimately, yeah, the, the characters also learn more about each other and it kind of climaxes in some pretty pretty strong scenes. Is there any particular scene that you're really psyched for fans to see? Um, it, yes, every episode is, is so strong in this part of the season. Um, yeah, as I said, the story really gathers momentum. And uh, I mean, there's, without giving away too much, but the witch trial is an incredible event. Um, but then we go into, you know, Claire's revealing of secrets, then back to, to Lallybroch, and then ultimately Wentworth Prison, which ultimately is going to be, uh, you know, some, some quite surprising stuff. I'm a big fan of uh, Jamie's sister, Jenny, and their relationship. I think it says a lot about him. It does, yes. She's, uh, they're very similar, you know. Um, she's terrific, and obviously Laura Donnelly, who plays Jenny, is just a, a great actress and uh, thoroughly enjoyed that sort of relationship. And it felt up until that point, you know, we'd been working with this family of Highlanders, and um, and then this, the, the story moves more towards to Lallybrock, and then we've got a new family there with Ian and Jenny and some other characters that uh, are not in the book. How's it for you moving from location to location like this? Because many shows, you know, shoot on a stage or have at least one prime location, but you're all over the place, and I hear you're going even more places in the next season. I think so. I think what is surprising about the show is that every episode is slightly different and comes at a different angle so the viewer never really quite knows what it is and I think that goes back to the books you can't say exactly what they are they're not just a romance novel there's you know historical adventure there's time travel and I think that's what Ron does if you look at any of the past shows that he's done um, they're episodic but they certainly always have a twist and uh, yeah, our locations are certainly moving, and, and in season two we go to France and, and beyond. So now I want to ask about the nudity. Were you expecting that at all when you first signed on? I mean, I re obviously sped read the book, so I knew what was to come. Um, I knew that that side would be challenging. Um, but yeah, I'm very aware that any of that uh, intimate or, or violent scenes are all definitely character-driven and, and to, to drive the story forward. And, uh, and actually, I don't think we're anywhere near as gratuitous as other shows on, on television or film, um, I think we're just maybe more intimate. And can you tell me a little bit about your costumes here? Is there anything that Jamie gets to wear on the show that you would genuinely like to wear in real life? Oh, I thoroughly enjoy wearing the Fila Moore, which is the great kilt. Um, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to wear, you know, keeps you, keeps you warm in the winter and, uh, you know, a little bit hot in the summer, but um, it's wonderful. I, I enjoy putting it on every day. It's, part of the process, part of the ritual of getting into Jamie, and uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful part of his character as well, and uh, it, it felt very strange to be wearing trues, which you can obviously see in the, the, the artwork here, you know, in some of the episodes Jamie was wearing them, and uh, I don't know, it sort of almost feels uncomfortable, he's not, he's not himself when wearing those. Can you snap right out of the period piece mindset, like, or do you catch yourself saying things that are appropriate for that world in real life? Um, I mean, there's there's not you know another language. I mean, uh, you know, uh, there's not an old world that you speak. But you know, we do have the Gaelic that we talk, um, and and therefore, yes, maybe there is. Uh, you know, I like to 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 try and immerse myself in that as much as possible. So, um, but no, it it is funny sometimes. You do catch yourself, and you're like, oh, this is gonna go and I'll be by the horse, or I'll, I'll you know I'll t I'm gonna take my horse back to the stables or whatever, you know. And you you think, God, how, how lucky I am to be in this world. Can you tell me a little bit now about the scars on your back? What's the process like of having that done? Because it looks like pretty extensive work, and I imagine you can't sit on a chair and lean back. Indeed, you're absolutely right. Yes, it's, uh, it is a lengthy process. It takes, well, just the back scar takes about three hours in the morning to put on, um, and then about an hour in the evening to take off. But uh, Jamie goes through a lot, of, um, a lot of physical damage throughout the end of the season, and so there was a, a lot of prosthetic work. Um, his hands, his legs, his back head so um, yeah it was it was a very long process but they're they're terrific prosthetics um, unfortunately yeah you cannot sit 
anywhere. You can't <laughs> lean on anything, so it's pretty uncomfortable. And then uh, between takes or any time, you know, the, there's prosthetic people or makeup artists touching it up and making sure it looks ready for camera. So um, it can be quite, it can be quite, uh, quite trying, quite tiresome, you know. But I think it's all really helps when you're trying to get into character. And now you guys got picked up for season two. So is there anything you could tease for what's coming up down the line for fans? Absolutely. Well, you know, obviously we're just showing the second half of season one now. And uh, as I said, you know, the, the momentum keeps going. The characters really learn a lot about themselves, about each other. Uh, and ultimately, they have to fight, um, fight for their lives and fight for their relationship. And um, they enter into some uh, a really strange place at the end of season one. Um, they've grown a, a tr tremendous deal, but have taken on a lot of responsibility, and uh, that's going to carry through to season two. And just hopefully, you know, it'll get darker and even more complex. Is there any piece of Jamie you're looking forward to exploring next time that you didn't get to touch on this time? Yes, I think uh, there's a big reveal uh, in the last couple of episodes, and especially in the very last episode, that's going to affect his life for a long time to come.